free falling leads to free living? I know what you're thinking. This guy must be crazy. Anybody who would jump out of a perfectly good airplane must be crazy, right? Well, you can call me crazy. In fact, you can call me whatever you want. Just don't call me Shirley. That's a line out of the movie Airplane by Leslie Nielsen. But it wasn't actually an airplane that I jumped out of. It was a helicopter in the middle of the Swiss Alps. Ladies and gentlemen, fellow Toastmasters, be entertained today of a story of fear and fright and wonder as one man went and conquered his own fears and went free falling. And at the very end, you'll get the opportunity to ask yourself this question. Is free falling really something that leads to free living? I was in Switzerland. Wonderful place to be. Switzerland is full of mountain ranges and there's this place in Switzerland called Stetchelberg. And Stetchelberg just happens to be the number one biggest attraction in the world when it comes to extreme sports. And of course the number one extreme sport in Stetchelberg is skydiving. So I had this huge, huge, huge debilitating fear of skydiving and I had this huge debilitating fear of heights. I couldn't even go on one of these like spinny things, they call them a merry-go-round or one of those things at the exhibition. I was that scared. But I thought, you know, I could overcome this fear by buying a ticket to go skydiving. Now I have a, a secret for every one of you to overcome any fear. Do you want to know what it is? Go like this. Do it with me. Yep, go like this. Yep. Now bring your hands just around like this. Yep, yep, down like this, just like this. Now imagine I'm Clint Eastwood, and I just have one thing to say to you. Do you feel lucky? But no, seriously, then grab your wallet. And open your wallet up, and imagine that you have $500 in your wallet. And that $500, you put on a table in an office in Stetchelberg, and you say, Hans, here's my $500. I'm buying a one-way, non-refundable ticket to go free falling. And I'll tell you one thing, you will be more scared of letting that non-refundable ticket go that you spent $500 on than free falling. That's my secret. So that's what we did. We went into this hangar and we're in this hangar and here this guy from Australia is bucking himself up and he's all confident and I'm scared as anything but I'm acting strong and buff and I'm confident too and I say to him so you know mate so like uh, if you ever had a time where your chute didn't open number one question never ask a skydive instructor that question especially if you want a serious actual answer he said oh sure mate yeah no big deal yeah just open up the extra chute I'm thinking wow all we have is nylon and he had already this opportunity to open a second chute so he picks us up and we're flying in this helicopter and I'm with this Australian guy and they have to hook you up for safety reasons and I'm with my friend and he's hooked up to this other guy for safety reasons and they're showing us the beauty and wonder of the mountains. It's nothing like taking somebody's mind off it with the beauty of mountains. And they show us this wonderful waterfall and we go through this fluffy stuff. Oh shoot, that's clouds. Okay, but we keep on going up and oh, this wonderful Jungfrau Mountain. It's the biggest, tallest mountain in the Alps in that area. So, oh wow, this is cool. And all of the different mountain ranges drain the water into this one section. Oh, this is awesome. It's beautiful. We're on a helicopter. It's all great until the helicopter goes like this. And all of a sudden we're seeing two mountain ranges, one behind you, one in front of you. And the reality sinks in. And all you see is your buddy get out to the edge there and they don't even know how to count to three. They say, are you ready? One, two, and the helicopter pilot goes like this. And my buddy's flowing. And I thought, oh man, this guy didn't even have a chance. So it's loud and then it's my turn. And the scariest bit of the whole deal is sitting there on the edge. And if you can imagine, I'm looking down, I can see some houses. I can see some tiny dots, I think they're cows. And there's some tiny trees, and it's small, and there's clouds even below you. There's a mountain range over here, a mountain range over here. And he's doing his final buckles. It's like 10 seconds, but it must be 10,000 seconds in my mind. And then he asked me the question that you should never ask somebody as they're sitting on the edge of the seat. Are you sure you want to do this? 
I look at him and I say, I spent $500 on this, of course. And as if, how do I trust them anyway? They can't even count to three. So on the count of two, I went, Whoof! And you think you can yell when you're falling. You can't yell. Your cheeks yell. And you're like, ah. Kind of, you try to yell, but you just go. And then all of a sudden, Phew! you're safe. You're still 3,000 feet up in the air. But for some reason, you have this great sense of safety because you were just free falling. And now you're in this parachute and everything's fine and dandy. You did make it to the bottom. Free falling taught me so many things about life. It taught me that I'm not in control. Free falling taught me that oh, there's such a wonderful thing about complacency that you know we just get into. And when you free fall, you really have got outside of your comfort zone and you aren't safe anymore. Free falling also taught me about courage and summoning that courage to overcome that fear that I have. So surely you can see now that free falling can help you overcome the fact that you need to be in control of your life. And surely you can see that free falling can help you overcome complacency that you have in your life. Surely you can see that free falling can help you overcome and have courage to rise above your fears. Are there any Shirley's in the audience? <laughs>